In this quick video I will be showing you guys how to add more PlayStation 1 games to Bleem Sync. So this is very easy and I'm going to be showing you the easiest method to do this. So the first thing you want to do, make sure your PlayStation Classic is unplugged. Go and get your USB with um, Bleem Sync on it. Go and connect this into your computer and I will show you guys what to do from there. Okay guys, so the first thing you need to do once you're on your computer, you need to have some PlayStation games. Now it's entirely up to you where you decide to get your games from. Um, what I've actually done is I've backed mine off my actual PlayStation 1 discs. So if you want to do that, I will leave a link to that in the description. It's very simple to do. There's a five minute video. I will show you how to get your um, PlayStation 1 games off your discs and then they will work on the PlayStation Classic. Or you can get your games online. It's entirely up to you where you decide to get them from. As I said before, um, I'm not gonna show you where to download them because that is actually like not allowed on YouTube. But yeah, once you've got your games, you want to go to the next link in the description. From here, we need to download the artwork for the game. So this is when we scroll over it, it will have a picture of what the game looks like. I would recommend getting this one, the regional case thumbnails. Now it's got over 9,000 thumbnails in. Right click this and then just click on download. And if it asks, just click download anyway, and then it's going to start downloading. So we're just going to wait for this download. And once it's done, I will go to my downloads folder. Okay, so once that's done downloading, let's go into our downloads. And as you can see, here are my games. Now, when you back up games off disks, they actually come in this format. So they have two files in there. There's a bin file and there is a Q file. Um, make sure to watch my last video if you don't have any of these so you can back up your own games. Or sometimes if you download them online, they also will um, end up looking like this. Now, this works with um, games that have two parts as well. So as you can see with um, Chrono Cross, this game has two disks in it. So it's got disk one and disk 2. Um, for this video I'm just going to be using Spyro and Digimon World. So what we actually want to do, make sure our USB is plugged in where it just says Sony and we want to select both of these files and these just get dragged and dropped into the transfer folder. As simple as that, copy all of your games into the transfer folder. Now this might take a while to copy across um, so it says items remaining. It's going to be about 600 megabytes. So let's wait for this to copy across and I will be back when it's done. Okay, so once it's done, if you go into the transfers folder, it's just going to look exactly like this. Now what happens when you plug your USB into your PlayStation, it will actually transfer automatically into the games folder. As you can see, I've already done this with Spyro and it's put it in there and it's found the cover art for it and everything. So it's as simple as that. So it will copy across um, once we plug it in. Next, we need to get the covers. So we should have downloaded these in a zip file. If I just go back to my downloads, um, it's this one, the regional case thumbnails. So what we actually have to do on our USB is select Bleem Sync right here, go into OPT, go into PCS underscore transfer tools, and they will actually be in here. That is where we put the covers. So if you double click onto the zip file, you can see we've got covers. We simply just drag and drop it, and there will already be one in there, and we simply just replace it. So drag and drop it into that folder and just replace it like that. I've already done it. Let me show you all of my covers are in here. We have got covers for tons and tons of games. Let me just show you if I just click on random ones, and um, even like, like this, what the heck is this? Some random Japanese game but it's literally got covers for all types of PlayStation 1 games. So yeah, these are all region games. So there's going to be tons and tons of covers in here um, for such random games. And yeah, that is it. That is how you copy them across, even stuff like this. <laughs> like, that's such a weird game. And um, yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Once you've got the covers and your game in the transfer folder, um, we can actually disconnect this from our computer. So let's disconnect our USB. Let's put it back into our PlayStation Classic and let's test out the games. Okay guys, so once we're back on our PlayStation Classic, the first thing you want to do is just go and plug in your USB. And then once that's plugged in, we can actually plug in the power cord. Okay, so plug in the power cord and just wait for that little um, LED to turn orange. And then once it's turned orange, um, we can go and press the power button and we can go and find our game. Over on the boot menu, the first thing we want to do is launch into Bleem Sync. So just select it and then just press X and then we're just going to wait for this to load. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look for our game. Now I got Spyro. It should have a slightly different cover to the rest of the games on here. So let's just scroll around. And there it is. Spyro the Dragon normally wouldn't be on here. And there you go. Our games are showing up. So all we want to do is just play it. Now you can save like normal. You can like save to the memory card and everything like that. It's just like a normal PlayStation 1 game. So let's just press X to go ahead and boot this up. 
And there you go, the game works perfectly fine. We can go and start game and it should access the memory card perfectly fine. So we can actually go on new game. We can actually save to the memory card. And um, yeah, let's test out some gameplay. So obviously sound works and everything like that works. It's just like playing a normal PlayStation 1 game. See, so yeah, really cool? That is how you easily play PS1 games off your USB on Bleem Sync. I'm probably going to have an auto Bleem video soon. Um, maybe even today or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I'll make that very soon. And yeah, so that is pretty much it. Super easy. And this is how you set it up. Obviously the game just works perfectly fine. And the sound works just like how any of the other PlayStation 1 games um, work on the PlayStation Classic. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.